This module will review what happens on the day of surgery. You will receive a call the day before surgery in the late afternoon alerting you what time to report to the hospital. If your surgery is on a Monday, you will receive the call on the Friday before. Remember to stop any clear liquids three hours prior to the scheduled surgery time. In terms of what to bring to the hospital, you should bring clothes that are easy to put on and take off, closed toe slip-on shoes, a legal photo identification card, an up-to-date insurance card, cell phone, and a book or other form of entertainment. You should not bring any valuables such as rings, jewelry, or watches. Remove these and leave them at home. And do not bring any of your personal medications. You will first check in and register. At Portsmouth Hospital, this is inside the main entrance to the left. At Stratum Ambulatory Surgery Center or Atlantic Coast Surgical Suites, this is in the main waiting area inside the main entrance. You will then be escorted back to the preoperative holding area where your belongings will be stored and you will be assigned a room or a bay and change into a gown. The same day surgery nurse will complete your admission process by reviewing your medications, allergies, surgical preparation, recent health issues, and the planned procedure and post-operative course. An IV will be started for hydration. The nursing staff will then wash down the surgical site with special antiseptic wipes to help reduce the risk of infection. You will be given several medications for preventive analgesia. The anesthesia team will meet with you to discuss their plan and obtain anesthesia consent. The majority of patients undergoing joint replacement will receive a spinal anesthetic with intravenous sedation. Those undergoing a knee or shoulder replacement will usually undergo a preoperative nerve block as well. Your surgeon will see you in the same day surgery unit to confirm the site of surgery and mark that site. Members of the OR staff will check and reconfirm the planned procedure and consent and then escort you back to the operating room. In addition to your doctors King and Parsons, there will be a team of experts taking care of you in the operating room. This will include an anesthesia provider, physician assistant, operating room nurse, surgical technician, also known as a scrub nurse, and a second assistant. Each member of the team has a dedicated role to ensure your safety. You will be continuously monitored during the surgery and your safety is our number one priority. When the surgery is complete, you will be transferred to the post anesthesia care unit, also known as the PACU. Here, a specialized PACU nurse will continue to monitor you and care for you as you wake up from anesthesia or sedation. If you have any discomfort, they can begin to administer medications for this. A typical stay in PACU lasts about one hour, but occasionally this may be shorter or longer depending on circumstances. If you are planning to go home the same day, you will be transferred back to the same day surgery area after the PACU. Here you will continue to recover and the following criteria will be evaluated and completed to ensure your safe discharge. Your comfort needs to be well managed and tolerable. You need to have stable vital signs, you need to be able to urinate, and you need to be able to hold down food and liquid. Physical and occupational therapy will also work with you to educate you to ensure your safe mobility and ability to manage basic activities of daily living. This will include stair climbing. Once you have met criteria, you and your caregiver can transition from the facility to home. You will be wheeled to the car in a wheelchair or in some cases walk there with a walker. Therapy will assist you in getting in your vehicle and educate you on the best way to enter and exit it. Make sure you pump your foot up and down on the way home to keep blood flowing through your leg. You will be given instructions on continuing the multimodal pain management regimen according to the provided schedule.